when we were shooting the Western comedy, A Million Ways, I had, I had never done any extensive on-camera acting. I had certainly never directed and acted aside from Ted, which was primarily a voiceover job. I was, I was very nervous, nervous as hell, but of course you can't let a crew see that because they want to believe you know what you're doing when they only know you as the voice of a cartoon talking dog. <laughs> Although really anyone standing next to Charlize looks like a talking dog. <laughs> but it quickly became evident that I could turn to Charlize at any point during the day and quietly ask for guidance. Things like, do you, do you feel that I'm playing this moment authentically or does this scene need some additional script work or if we shut this whole thing down now, how much money would we lose? <laughs> That movie remains one of my favorite career experiences because of Charlize's professional generosity and willingness to provide the benefit of her experience and her wisdom. I always felt looked after. And for someone directing a movie to get that from their star is a luxury beyond compare. And as anyone who has ever worked with Charlize can attest, her Academy Award winning theatrical chops are matched only by her kindness and professional altruism. And I will always be in her debt. <laughs> that said, <laughs> we were filming a scene in Monument Valley, Utah, which is, of course, a vast, spectacular, but desolate region of the, the uh, Colorado Plateau, at least two hours from anything remotely resembling a town. We were all working long hours, and Charlie is suggested I get a B12 shot from the local medic who was brought in to dispense them. As you can imagine, the local medic was not what you would find at Cedars. <laughs> I got the shot, which left a massive bruise on my arm for the next several days. And during that time, Charlize became fond of approaching me when I was distracted and punching the bruise with great force. <laughs> this happened many dozens of times. I would let out a yelp to which she would reply, suck it up, princess! <laughs> so while to many men, Charlize will always be the fantasy woman of their dreams, <laughs> to me, she is the abusive alcoholic father I never had. <laughs> <laughs> 